Hello everyone. Since Microsoft ended the support for Windows 7, thus Windows 7 is still used on a quarter of all the PCs. Why? What are the reasons behind it? Why most of the people love still Windows 7? Let us know about it in detail. So let us proceed. Windows 7 is still used on a quarter of all the PCs. The Windows OS. Why? Why it matters? It's been almost 5 months since Windows 7 reached the end of its extended support period, meaning that the only user to receive extended support update are businesses and education customers willing to pay for them. Despite this vendor OS is still the second most popular operating system behind the Windows 10. Second most popular operating system, taking a near of 25% share in the market. Well, hard as to believe, Windows 7 released way back in 2009. Now currently 2020, see the gap difference, 2009 and 2020. It existed mainstream support and inter is extended support phase in January 2015, allowing users to still receive the free critical security patches, bug fixes and technical support for the next 5 years. So on January 14, the extended support finally ended and are still available to all Windows 7 professional and Windows 7 enterprise customer, basically for the businessman and customer's student. But Microsoft charges $25 for enterprises and $50 for pro per machine and those prices go up to every year. That means $25 every year and $50 every year for enterprises and pro users respectively. With Windows 7 no longer receiving patches for newly discovered vulnerabilities, it's increasing at the risk from cyber attacks. The UK's National Cyber Security Centre has warned the people, I repeat, the UK's National Cyber Security Centre has warned the people not to use Windows 7 for internet banking or even email, but its number of the users has been changed since January. With the OS still found on almost a quarter of PCs, 24.28% on the total number of world according to the net market share. 12 month ago, Windows 7 had a 35% of share market. So as a 10% drop for the decade old OS that's no longer supported isn't bad at all. But why do so many want to avoid upgrading Windows 10? Why? A lot of it is due to the privacy concern, mainly the cyber attacks and the security concerns surrounding to the modern system. Through the Microsoft has done a lot to address in the recent times. There are also the numerous issues caused by the Windows 10 update. This is the fact. The fact that someone businesses supply haven't gone around to the updating and many people just prefer Windows 7. So basically numerous issues, cyber security haven't got around into the updating. Updating issues, numerous issues, cyber security and personal issues relates Windows 7 to go a bit backward. Elsewhere, Windows 10 continued to its cement its position at the top after increasing its share to 57.83%. In March, Microsoft finally released its goal of 1 billion devices running its latest operating system missing its original prediction and original operating system prediction by 20 months and it's good news for the linux which reached at all the time of high 3.17 percent so basically this is the data and reaching the, its goal microsoft reaching its goal of using 1 billion devices running the latest operating system that is windows 10 latest so this is all about the windows 7 its uh, cyber security latest update and the shares take values and all hope you guys do enjoyed if you like the video please do hit the like button subscribe to my channel for related tech news tips and tricks digital marketing series instagram marketing and social security concerns and thank you for watching we'll see you next time